guys I already go for road test and yeah it runs smooth I like that one rather than before and we're gonna check now if uh, there's a code still uh, for the crank angle sensor we'll see yep there's no trouble code already so we're good hello guys welcome to Oliver the mechanic and today's episode we're gonna replace a crank angle sensor here crank angle sensor for a Kia Rio my back here and shout out first to the owner of this one to Ricky's Ricky shout out thanks for always coming back at me and actually the problem of this Kia Rio uh, customer complained about it's hard starting in the morning sometimes it start sometimes it won't start totally it's always cranking and also sometimes when you stop at the stoplight and then when you go forward like the engine like lose power and it's like dying dying the engine like uh, it won't uh, won't run properly or like it's jerking yeah that's that's the complaint and I check on my scanner that uh, there's a fault code for a crank angle sensor so yeah today we're gonna replace that sensor here and I'll show you what where's the location and yeah lucky lucky the scanner uh, told us what's the problem because I experienced also last time a Hyundai Veloster uh, scanner don't tell anything no code but it won't start yeah it's quite it's quite hard but it's the problem is the crank angle also but yeah we're lucky today that uh, the scanner uh, pick it pick up the code and we're gonna replace this one now and yeah before we gonna start that one hit the intro first intro <laughs> Okay, I will show you the location, the crank angle. Yeah, it's near the oil filter. That's the one there. Yep, that's the one with the 10 mil. Uh, yeah, near the oil filter. And yeah, the connector is there also, that one. Uh, we're gonna remove the connector first and see if uh, it fit on the new one before I gotta remove the uh, uh, sensor, crank angle sensor. Yep, I already removed the uh, connector here. That's how it looks. Yep, we'll put the new one first if uh, it's the same. Okay, so the new one here look like the same we'll see yep it fit good so yeah we fit in the connector so I'm gonna remove the uh, sensor now the old sensor so it's new. I drop it. Yep, it's only 10 mil bolts. Okay, that's the old one. It's quite hard because of the o ring, and just like twist it like this, and then if it's loose, you can pull it up. Okay, that's how it looks. The old one, yeah, make the same with the new one. The old o-ring still there. There we go. That's the old o-ring. Yeah, the old o-ring still there. Okay, I put the new one already. That's the bolt there, 10 mil. And yeah, put it here on the connector. Yep. Put it there also the connector there and just only clip here yeah it's not hard yep it's easy to do it and yeah we're gonna put it down now and we're gonna go for a road test and we're gonna scan it again and then see how it goes hey okay. okay guys that's the code i will try to erase it now uh, car is on the ignition on it's ignition on i will try to erase the code now here 
RDTC engine out engine out yes yes yep no troubles code start it start straight away no hard starting anymore yep okay we'll go for road test and see how it goes if the trouble code still come back yep okay guys i already go for road test and yeah it runs smooth i like that one rather than before and we're gonna check now if uh there's a code still uh for the crank angle sensor we'll see yep there's no trouble code already so we're good uh i think i'm gonna tell the customer to observe this one actually the customer uh sir ricky will come back to me for around two weeks uh to service this one so just uh hit like and subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can see a service of akia rio maybe around three weeks uh i can post uh the service for this one and but for now the uh, problem for hard starting uh, jerking is nothing so it's for observation but i think it's only the crank angle we will know if we fix the problem if uh, sir ricky will come back to me for a service i will ask him if uh the problem is still there okay guys uh i actually the problem of this one there's no engine light on so it's quite crazy and the trouble code is only history it's not like a permanent code but hopefully uh, that one will fix the problem. And I think uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching again, guys. Uh, please hit like and subscribe and hit the bell notification so you'll be notified if I have a new video. And please help support my channel. Thanks again, guys. See you in the next video, guys. Oliver, signing out. Salamat Adios. Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna 